All right, guys, so with this one, we are going to be talking about two things in this video. We're going to be talking about something that is called incomplete dominance. Let me make that a little bit bigger. Something that is called incomplete dominance, as well as something else that is called codominance. Two things that are similar yet very different from our basic dominant versus recessive Punnett squares that we've been dealing with over the last couple of days. So we're going to take what we've done, we're going to take what we should be fairly comfortable with now, and I'm going to kind of twist it on you a little bit to get some different results, okay? So the things that we are going to look at here is, the first one is called incomplete dominance. And incomplete dominance is going to be in this column down here. So if you're not sure where we're paying attention to, uh, just try to follow along. We're going to be on that left-hand column for incomplete dominance. All right, incomplete dominance in a very simple way is when neither allele is dominant over the other one. Okay, so in certain situations, there are things where you can take something like a white flower and a red flower, and we don't end up with one dominating over the other one. What we end up with is that you get a blend between the two. You get white and red. You get pink okay so in this case what we have and here's our example we're going to do this Punnett square now the the unique thing about this guys is you're going to be using two different letters you're going to be using red rr to represent red you're going to be using ww to represent white so we're not using capital and lowercase letters in incomplete dominance we're just using all caps and we are using different letters for uh, red and different letters for white. So in this Punnett square we're going to be looking at is actually the answers are down below But I want to go ahead and show you the process here, too So with the if we took a red flower Sorry, if we took a red flower and a white flower your red flowers up here your white flowers over here What you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna get red and You're gonna take white so in this box you get RW Okay, I'm gonna get rid of those arrows now so that we can see what we need to see. So we should have RW. It's the same way that it always works. RW, and this one RW, and this one RW. Okay, now notice we see that down here too. It's just instead of having the W's, what they did was they put little R's in there, but I'm going to go ahead and change that to W's. Okay. All right, so you can see we took a red flower and we took a white flower, and what did we get? We got pink flowers. The genotype for red, you know, just to kind of summarize here, was RR. The genotype for white was WW. What was our genotype for pink? It was RW. In other words, it was one of each. Okay. Now, in something very similar, you get what is called codominance. This is when both alleles are expressed fully. It's different from incomplete. Incomplete is when neither one is dominant, but this one is when both are expressed fully. So it actually works the exact same way. You end up with this. You get a red cow and a white cow. Oops, sorry. You get a red cow and a white cow. And what you end up doing is you get the same results. You get the same results. You get RW, RW. Okay, and within that, you then get the exact same thing, the exact same results. It's just instead of seeing things like a blend between the two, like you would over here with pink, now you're getting spots. You get a little bit of white, and you get a little bit of roan, or you get a little bit of red, and you end up with these um, roan cows are these one and then the other okay all right now this is going to be the thing that I want you guys to try to go ahead and work on a little bit um, I want you to try to do your your very very best um, I'm, I'm going to do um, what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm gonna post a video about this one tomorrow um, so do your best with this. Remember, if you're confused, go back up here and watch. You know, incomplete dominance isn't one dominating over the other. It's when they both kind of are expressed together. Same thing with codominance. We just end up with 
you know, spotted or things like stripes, um, you can very clearly see that I have these labeled. So part four is going to be incomplete. Part five is going to be co-dominant. Okay, so let's just kind of go through a couple of things here. We have uh, SpongeBob loves growing flowers. First pal Sandy, her favorite flowers are poofkins, uh, and they are found in red, blue, and purple. Okay, and as long as we understand that a mixture, what is the color purple? Purple is a mixture of the colors red and blue. Okay, so what you guys are going to do is you're going to first identify the genotypes for red, for blue, red, blue, and purple, and then you're going to attempt to solve this Punnett square to answer the probability of having all those different ones, okay? Down here, it's a very similar situation. We're just talking about jellyfish, okay? And so we've got uh, the many jellyfish. We've got yellow, which would be YY in this one. We've got B, which would be, or blue, which would be BB. Uh, and what we need to understand is that this thing called goobers are yellow spotted, blue and yellow spotted jellyfish. Okay, so it's codominance. Remember, just like up here, where you had the spotted, you had white with red spots. Well, down here, we're just talking about blue and yellow spotted jellyfish, and they're called goobers. So when you see goobers down here, just know that that's what they're talking about. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's try to fill this one out the very best that we can. Uh, if you're struggling, that's okay. I'm going to have a video about it tomorrow. But this one, I want to see how well you do on your own, okay? Good luck, let me know if you guys are struggling, send me some emails, I'll try to do my very best to help you. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging in so tough for me while I can't be there, so keep working hard, and I'll do my very best to get to you if you need help.